Hello guys and welcome to my new channel, Nightstar Leaf Tech. I have some really great ideas, tweaks and innovations. In the next few weeks I will be releasing stuff you haven't seen before in 3D printing. My authority for this is 5 years experience printing with a CR10 and Endo 3. Today I will be unboxing the Easy 3D K9. I just let to let you know that I bought this printer with my own money. It was roughly £65 with tax from AliExpress and received to the UK in under two weeks. When I looked at this on AliExpress I was interested in it because of its price point which is um, without tax roughly uh, £50 with tax of course it's an additional 20% roughly. Um, it's an interesting machine due to its price point roughly a third the price of other larger machines. Looking at the print volume here being 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters, it's roughly a third of the print volume also. I was intrigued again because it is meant to print PLA, but also it's supposed to print TPU. The price point itself is interesting because it might be suitable as a beginner printer for someone who isn't sure if 3D printing is for them and also the ease of assembly because according to the assembly video which you can find on the AliExpress website it's very easy to assemble with just a few small clips um, and some screws to do up. I'm doing the unboxing today and then going forward I plan doing more videos looking at its performance. Thanks for bearing with me. Without further ado, I will open the box. Now on the first layer you will see the manual. There's the bracket for the spool. A uh, small piece of uh, PLA filament in white in a shrink wrapped uh, wrapper. The USB cable a small bag with a screwdriver and some um, micro USB card readers and some screws the power supply unit which is in a three pin plug for the UK but obviously depending on which country um, you order from I'm sure they will include a suitable adapter now here's the um, print surface which is actually on a uh, an ABS uh, platform but it feels reassuringly heavy. Finally there's a, um, an instruction leaflet which is um, it says um, new 3, 3D printer users must read. It's like an introduction to 3D printing which is something I never had with any of the printers that I ordered before. So it's very useful, um, a very useful thing to have. Now we come to the second layer. The second layer actually comes in a, a wrapped in a nice bubble wrap bag, but I've taken the liberty of removing it to save time. As you can see on the second layer, there are three axes, the X, Y and Z axes, and as you can see, as advertised, they are all exactly identical. You will also see there's the control unit and the hot end assembly which are joined with wires from the factory. I'm just going to show you a close-up of the hot end assembly which is accessed by um, flipping up the uh, fan shroud and that it actually unlike other printers it's actually on a hinge with a magnet closure so it will be dead easy to um, uh, work on it if you need to at a later date. I've shown the hot end zoomed in here I hope you can see it clearly Hopefully you can see that the extruder mechanism and hot end are mounted on a single steel plate. The extruder gear and pinch wheel are mounted inside a transparent ABS case which I assume holds the PTFE tubes in place and also will help guide the, uh, the filament so that it doesn't get caught in the wheels. Especially important for TPU. There it is, the unboxing. I don't propose to assemble the machine on camera to save time and because it looks very straightforward, but I'll come back to you again soon with the first print and prep stage. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon for lots of exciting 3D printing content. <laughs>